second scenario is, or the, the different scenario is, if I'm staying in the house, then I can get up. Same thing, range of motion, cough assist, take a breathing treatment. Um, then get up in the chair, use a, I probably sit in a, um, a gown, put a hospital gown on, sit in the chair, and just um, relax during the day. And then I can, you know, make my phone calls, order my supplies, medications, uh, um, shoot my podcast if, I, if need be, because I, I do do a podcast on gun violence, sports, uh, motivational speaking, mentoring, um, things like that. And also, while I'm in the house, I could do peer mentoring that day because I work down at McGee Rehabilitation, um, mentoring people who have just been injured, just like me, but probably don't uh, kind of see light at the end of the tunnel. The way I could see, you know, I could see shorter to the to the end of it, or see to the, I can see light at the end of the tunnel. And they don't see light at the end of the tunnel. So I kind of give them hope, inspiration, let them know what it's like. Um, going through everything that they're going through because I've been through it. And my biggest agenda, my biggest thing for them down at McGee is to let them people help you. Because when I was there, I didn't want them, you know, being 16, being the victim of gun violence, I didn't want to uh, let them know that um, I didn't want people touching me. You know, being 16, people seeing me naked, things like that, I didn't want a lot of that stuff. So my, but the biggest thing that helped me was my mom being there, family, friends, that elevated because it was more love over discomfort or maybe being upset about what happened to me.